So today we're going to take a look at a resource called an animated texture. Now this might seem a very similar to the node, the animated sprite, uh, but this is actually a resource, it's not a node, and hopefully I can show a few examples that will show why the animated texture is useful. I feel like most people don't even realize that the animated texture is available to them. And just a quick overview of why they are useful, first of which is you can animate tile maps. Animating a tile map is usually used for water or liquids or some type of reflection in your tile maps, but you could you really use it for whatever you want. Um, and then the last thing I'll show you is and you actually can use this resource as a texture in a shader and you can sample that texture as it's changing. So the first thing we'll look at is the tile map and the first you go into the tile uh, set editor and you go ahead and add a texture just any one and I added just a single one of my animations and it'll look like this and once you've done that you'll want to add a single tile and just get a single region for it and then we'll go into our new tile set here. This will be number three. And instead of having just a simple texture here, you're going to want to add a new animated texture. So when you click this resource, then it's going to ask you how many frames you want. And so we're going to only do a couple frames here for this example, since I've already done it. And you just go through and you add each individual frame. Okay, now in the example I have here, I have 16 frames. I'm only going to do three for right now. But as you can see, it creates this little animation. Now you can save this resource by clicking save here. And like I said, you can save it as a file that you can later put into a shader. Now we have these two different types of lava and it's as simple as that. Now the reason why I have this other silly howdy one is I wanted to also show you can change the frames per second and you can have a delay for each frame. So this one is only two frames but it just switches between the plane and the howdy. So the last thing, the texture is actually just the Godot icon and I added a uniform sampler 2D in the shader params of my shader. After you save your animation as a resource, you can actually just click and drag it right into this sampler 2D. And after you have that resource set in here, as you can see, animated texture is an option. I mixed the uh, animated lava texture with the actual texture or the actual image so the Godot symbol, and then you just have to choose the weight of how much you're mixing the second one into the first one. And then you set that color, and you can get some pretty interesting effect. This is a, just a quick introduction to what you can actually do with the animated texture, but if you have any questions, let me know, and, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.